Hi guys, it's Tina here from Art by Tina Marie. Just a quick tutorial on how to import block text into Procreate so you can create lovely things like this. Okay, we're going to use an app called WordSwag which you can download for free on the App Store. And in here you can create the text that you want. So we're just going to create a new project, choose transparent background, and in here we're going to type our text. I already copied some from earlier so I'm just going to quickly paste it here. Okay, save and close. So now we need to find the font that we want. Um, there's a list along the bottom here so we're looking for a block type font today. Okay, so now we need to flick through to find out the well, to find the layout that we want. I do know what one I'm looking for so I'm just going to quickly flick through till we get to it. It can take a few goes. Okay, this is the one we want. So I'm going to turn this to black because it'd be easier to create a mask in, pre in Procreate. Okay, we're going to save this to our gallery. Next, done. Okay, now into Procreate. So on our new canvas, we're going to import that new photo we created. So insert a photo, find it in your gallery. And there you go. Put it into the center. So from here we're going to create a mask. So we're going to use our freehand select tool and choose automatic and then click on the black areas and this will create our mask. And then we need to tap on this little icon down here and that will create a new layer. So as you can see we've got two layers of the same. So we don't need this bottom layer anymore. Okay, so with this layer we're going to create another mask. So we just use the select tool, pick freehand and it will show up those diagonal lines. Then add a new layer. Turn off that black text layer so you can see it's gone white now. But in here, now we've got a mask, we can just put any colour in here. You can go really crazy because it won't go outside of the mask. So I've just used the soft brush and I'm just going to paint some colour into this. As you can see, it's not going outside of that mask. So I'm just going to use three colours today, but you can choose as many as you like. That looks quite pretty. Okay, so now we're going to create a drop shadow. But this layer can be quite transparent, so we need to put a white layer underneath. So we just duplicated our original text layer. And we're going to turn this to white by just turning up the brightness. Right, duplicate that again. This is going to be our drop shadow layer. So we're going to turn this to black. Turn the brightness right down and then offset it slightly. Okay. Now to create a shadow we need to go into the Gaussian Blur and just move it across till you're happy with the shadow effect. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Right, I think I might put an outline around this so we're just going to duplicate that white layer again and we're going to turn it to black but maybe we'll have a blue outline so let's find a darkish blue okay that looks pretty good yeah okay from here we need to alpha lock it and then we can just fill that layer with our new blue colour. Turn the alpha lock off, go to the Gaussian Blur again. We need to put this up to about 10% and that makes a nice thickness for our outline. Now we're going to duplicate this layer about 10 times. This improves the opacity of the outline. And once you've done that, we're going to select all the layers 
and create a new group and then flatten that group and as you can see now it's a layer on its own okay right might put a white outline outside of our blue one so we just duplicate that blue layer and we're going to turn it to white I'll just find white in my palette here feel that Okay, turn the alpha lock off and we're going to use the Gaussian blur again up to about 10%. Okay, it looks cool. Right, we'll do the same thing again. Duplicate this layer about 10 times. It's looking pretty good. Okay, select all of those and put them into a new group and flatten them as well okay there we have it a simple way to import block text into procreate i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching if you have any questions please ask always happy to help okay have a lovely day bye